Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo Technical Developer. In this video we are going to talk about the campaign views and how we can add it in the Udo model. Campaign views are used to organize tasks, production processes, etc. The root element is campaign, just like the root element of tree view is tree, care and uh, form view is form. Same the root element of the Kanban view is Kanban and the rest of the definition is the same but inside the Kanban the uh, tags and uh, the definition is a little bit different than the tree view and the rest of the uh, views uh, for example in the Kanban view we can use HTML uh, and QWeb and something like the form view uh, tags like fields etc but uh, we can design it a different like a Kanban view shows a set of cards possibly grouped in the column. So, uh, the Kanban view shows the record in the form of cards, and th that can be grouped uh, by some value. So, whenever we add a group by that group by value, will become the column name, and the each of the card will show a single record. Uh, for instance project uh, tasks may be organized by stage for example if i go to the project uh, module and click on the tasks uh, menu and here i can see tasks that are organized in the kanban view and uh, on the column so if by default it is uh, grouped on the basis of the stages so if uh, on the column side i can see to do in progress done uh, these are the stages uh, on the basis of which it is grouped by and uh, this uh, each each of the card shows a single record which means a, a single task so it can be used to find the structure of each record as a mix of form so you can add the form tags and also the html and also we can add qa so uh, we cannot add the QWeb on the form view or on the tree view, but in the Kanban view we can add some QWeb. For today we have a task. What is our task? Uh, add a Kanban view which displays session group by courses. Same like we have added. Uh, same like we can see that uh, the Kanban view of the task is grouped by the uh, task uh, by the projects. Uh, so here we need to add a campaign view which should be displayed by the courses uh, for this purpose we need to add uh, a field uh, with the name color to the session model and then we need to add the campaign uh, view to the uh, action so for why we are going to add this field we want to change the color of the campaign on the base of this field so we have added all this uh, code inside our model and we have already uh, done it here like you can see it color field i've added it and inside the action we need to update uh, the value of the view mode like can bin so whenever we add a new uh, view we need to we have to, we have to define it here that what kind of view that we want to display next and here i have added a can bin view this is the whole code uh, for the Kanban view the first uh, tag is record and then we need to add the model ir.uiw this is the uh, id this is the name of the Kanban view this is the model open academy dot session type all these things are similar of all the views here is the difference uh, Kanban is the root element of the Kanban view uh, and we added a, uh, an attribute default group by we can add uh, this uh, default group by in order to add the default group by to the Kanban view. We have added a field uh, with the name color. So, and inside the Kanban, we need to define the template which will show this card kind of view to uh, the users. So, we have added a QWeb like uh, T, T name is equal to Kanban box. This uh, whole uh, box is uh, defined this thing, and inside it we uh, need to add some uh, more QWeb, and this 
here we have added some uh, fields uh, to show on the to show the data on the Kanban view. So let me just uh, I have already upgraded this module and added this Kanban view to all our uh, sessions model. So let me just go here and uh, click on the sessions menu to see the change. So if we go here to the Kanban view, click on the Kanban view, we can see the Kanban view is open up. And here we have a few option. I have added three lines here. If I click here, I can see I here I can change the color of the Kanban view. You can see the change here, and I can also delete this can this record from here. So how it has been done. So for this purpose, this section shows uh, uh, just this uh, box, the color box. If I click here, I can see the color and the delete uh, option. Uh, this uh, is done due to this uh, uh, div take. It will add a drop down uh, menu which uh, will inside it. We have added a delete option and a color change option. There are certain classes that has been called. Uh, this class will be called dynamically on the basis of the value defined for the color field. So it will uh, change dynamically. This class will make uh, the view clickable and whenever you click on the Kanban view, it will open up the form view in the edit mode. So these are some of the uh, fields that add some uh, uh, more styling to the Kanban view. And here we have added uh, Kanban content like uh, the data that we want to display. For example, uh, session name, start date, duration. These are some, some of the data fields that we want to display. It. And this has been added inside this class. And these are the fields that has been uh, that will be displayed on the Kanban view. So if I click on this, uh, I can see I cannot click on this. Uh, uh, card, but uh, when, uh, when let me just upgrade this module to uh, show the change after the adding the after adding this class. So which class that I added here? This class. I've added added this class to make the Kanban view editable. So let me upgrade the module, and then uh, you will see the effect after adding that class. The Kanban view will be able to uh, be clickable. We will be able to click on the Kanban view and, the, and then the form view will open up in the edit mode. So let me just go to the open academy and then go to the sessions menu and then uh, click on the Kanban view. So here I can see, we can see that uh, I can click on this and then the view will open up in the uh, edit mode. So uh, let me just share uh, with you what, one more thing that if you if you want to make if we want to make it to open this view by default uh, by click the session view menu then we can do it easily here. For example, if I add this at the start of the this and then upgrade the module, then uh, by default this Kanban view will open up. So this is just a simple change uh, that we can add. So go to the uh, Open Academy and then go to the Sessions menu. So we can see by default this uh, Kanban view is open up. So we can see that Open Academy .course one. This is showing like that, but instead of this, I want to show the name of the course. Uh, for example, if I remove this, I can see Odoo 13 technical course. I want to show this name on the Kanban view column. Uh, what I will need, what I need to do for this, if I go to the Open Academy .py, and here, if we go here, we can see the name of the course. This course name. So, uh, if uh, the name field is defined inside the model, then you don't need to add the uh, rec name attribute but if it is not defined and you want to change the record to show on the other models then you need to add that rec name and inside the rec name you need to add that field value so for example let me just restart 
and then upgrade the module after the module upgrade this uh, bug will be fixed so let me just search for the module and then upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see the change uh, that i have added this is a tip for uh, today and so after this uh, go to the open academy and then uh, session so here you can see Odo 13 technical course and Odo development without code so you can see the data is grouped on the basis of these uh, courses if i go to the tree view you can see this and uh, you can switch to the other views also so thank you guys for watching this video also if you uh, haven't subscribed our channel please uh, go to youtube and search Udo discussion and also and click on the red subscribe button to subscribe our channel and you will get the notification of each upcoming videos that we will upload on this channel please also like this video and share with your friends thank you